Que Paso Aries, I started with Scorpio this cycle. If you have any Aries in your natal chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, this may resonate with you. It may not resonate at all. I am always available for private, in-depth personal readings. All the information is included in each and every description box. The world, El Mundo, the fixed modality, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, King of Swords, Rey de Espadas, Five of Pentacles, Cinco de Oros, Page of Cups, of the Copas, Seven of Cups, the Eight of the Copas, and the Sun. Also, oh, you can do so much better than this. A possible astral combo for this person that you're dealing with. They could have Sun in Aquarius, Leo rising, Moon in Capricorn. That's one possibility of many, but I see them being very cold. The communication is not clear. This is very similar to the reading I just did for Pisces. Um, you never know where you stand with this person. Um, they're not allowing you to get close to them. There's all this resistance, all this blockage. The Five of Pentacles, that's a really scary energy. Most humans grapple with this throughout a lifetime. Unless you're really spiritually advanced, Unless you're at a place in your life where you have no desires, you're a monk, you're a Buddhist monk or some shit. I don't know anyone like that, but most of us grapple with this. I mean, shit, look at Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, you know, um, all this celebrity worship in America, all this focus on the exterior, how someone looks, how much someone weighs, how much money someone has in the bank. And it means exactly nada. I mean, look at how trashy that relationship was, how toxic it was. It happens to the best of us. So five of pentacles is when you're just operating at a deficit. You feel like you have no value. You have no worth. Um, you're lucky to get whatever you get. And I would love to say that I kicked this card in the ass in my 20s, my 30s, my 40s. I'm 49, and I've still not kicked this in the ass. So I guess I'm not spiritually advanced. Uh, I just keep going back, and I wish that I wouldn't, but it's hard not to remember that this time last year, I was in a terrible place. Um, all because of some fuck boy at Instagram. You know, I was put in a third party situation that I didn't sign up for. It was gross. It was tacky. And I thought, my God, I should know better by now. I see the red flags. I ignore them. But I'm saying, and I hope that it's the truth, I'm saying I will never have that experience again. I've been through too much. I have way too much wisdom. Um, it's not in my best interest to be on social media. It's not in my best interest to have casual sex. So... Or to go in that direction with sexting. That's just, that's not for me. Everyone's different. Everyone's on their own path. I'm going to clarify each row. Please clarify the world over Page of Cups. One card. Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius. Please clarify King of Swords over Seven of Cups. One card. Ace of Cups. Ostecopas, and I did notice that it came out in the reverse. I don't read reversals. I don't feel like they're necessary. I mean, you can look at the cards around this and see it's very obvious that you're not in the Ace of Cups energy right now. This relationship, this situationship, whatever's going on here, it's not the Ace of Cups. Please clarify Five of Pentacles over the Sun, one card. Queen of Cups. 
Reina de Copa is your emotional needs are not being met. Um, this is fuck boy energy, something very casual and insubstantial. Um, and we can go there. I mean, we're humans, but then when it gets to a point where we know that our needs are not being met, we're on two very different pages. We want two very different things. It's time to say, via con Dios, mi amigo, and just get on your horse and ride away. Um, I wouldn't stay in something this gross, something this low vibration. And people stay in it because they would rather do anything than be alone. And I just, I don't recommend that. That's classic garden variety codependency. And again, we're all on different paths, but if it's not serving you, it's not serving you. And this is not a fun energy to stay in. Six more cards for Aerie, Sais Moss, four, five, four. Ace of Swords, Ostia Spadas, the Blazing Sword of Truth. Two of Swords, Dos de Spadas, Ten of Wands, Deus de Bastos, Six of Pentacles, Seis de Oros, Seven of Cups, Fifth of the Copas, and Knight of Swords, Caballo de Espadas. And I'm always surprised. I'm surprised and I'm touched and I'm flattered whenever I do a reading, usually for a first time client. And after I send the link to the client, I have this sense of dread. I, I just wonder how are they going to take that? Because I am so blunt with the truth. And I feel like that's abundantly clear at this channel and at Siren Tarot that I do not bullshit. I don't sugarcoat. But there's so much of the other stuff out there. And I know that people go to various readers that I just, I'm always kind of crossing my fingers and toes, hoping that the client's not going to come back and just write a novel about how hurt they are by a reading. I don't know, because I had a couple of bad experiences a couple of years ago, and those bad experiences just stand out. This one client, I mean, she sent me like a three-page email. It was it was horrendous. And after that, I said, okay, I'm never going to read for clients again. But I continued because that was the exception. Um, but whenever a client comes back, usually a first-time client, and they say, I love your blunt honesty. You're the only one who would tell me the truth like that, you know, and they thank me. That's always a good moment and it makes it all worthwhile. So I simply cannot read the cards any other way. I can't bullshit. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that there could be some delusion with Seven of Cups twice. You could have this person on a pedestal. You could be crossing your fingers and toes, hoping for the best, hoping that things get better. But just looking at these cards, I would say things are not going to get better. This is a mismatch. The communication is terrible. You don't have much in common beyond the sexual attraction. I'm not seeing in-depth conversations. Um... Uh, this could be someone who just comes in and out of your life whenever it's convenient for them. And you're denying yourself. You're denying your needs, trying to just play it cool and, and do the casual thing. But that's not who you really are. You're not being authentic. If that's how you're operating, uh, your needs are not being met. So you can do better than this. Don't settle. That's what I have. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Peace out.